Eov, Job 1. There was a man in the land of Uts, whose name was Eov. And that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared Elohim, and eschewed evil. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was seven thousand sheep, and three thousand camels, and five hundred yoke of oxen, and five hundred she-asses, and a very great household, so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east. And his sons went and feasted in their houses, every one his day, and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And it was so, when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Eov sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning, and offered burnt offerings, according to the number of them all. For Eov said, It may be that my sons have sinned, and cursed Elohim in their hearts. Thus did Eov continually. Now there was a day when the sons of Elohim came to present themselves before Yahuwah, and Satan came also among them. And Yahuwah said unto Satan, From whence come you? Then Satan answered at Yahuwah, and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And Yahuwah said unto Satan, have you considered my servant Eov, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that fears Elohim and eschews evil? Then Satan answered at Yahuwah and said, Does Eov fear Elohim for naught? Have not you made eth a hedge about him and about his house? and about all that he has on every side. You have blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. Put forth your hand now, and touch all that he has, and he will curse you to your face. And Yahuwah said unto Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power, only upon himself Put not forth your hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of Yahuwah, and there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger unto Eov and said, The oxen were plowing, and the asses feeding beside them, and the Shavaim fell upon them, and took them away. Yea, they have slain Eth, the servants, with the edge of the sword. And I am only escaped alone to tell you. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of Elohim is fallen from heaven and has burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I only am escaped alone to tell you. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The Kazdim made out three bands, and fell upon the camels, and carried them away, yea, and slain at the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell you. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Your sons and your daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. And I only am escaped alone to tell you. Then Eov arose and rent at his mantle, 
and shaved at his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said, Naked I came out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. Yahuwah gave, and Yahuwah has taken away. Blessed be the name of Yahuwah. In all this, Eov sinned not, nor charged Elohim foolishly. <laughs>